everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to reuse this old chair which was in my garden for a long time first i removed all the legs then i'm drilling a hole right in the center part of that chair base the fabric i'm using is crushed velvet in red color we need at least two meter fabric for this project i folded the fabric into half and uh, marking a circle shape which is around one meter in diameter then I cut it out and you can see I used small pins in some places to keep both pieces without slipping away. Then I sewed it by leaving an opening. Here I am inserting the chair base into the cover. Bring the cover into its proper place. Then we can start filling it. To fill the entire thing, I need to have quite a lot of foam. So I reused a lot of my old cushions and an entire duet. This project actually cost me absolutely nothing because uh, I have all the things in my stock, including the fabric, uh, which I had in stock for such a long time. Once I completed filling half of it, I started working on the design. This is a waxed cord and it's really strong. Then I'm using a really long upholstery needle. You can order it online or maybe you can get it from a craft store. It's actually quite important to use a big needle because you cannot work it with a regular small sized needle. I found it was quite a bit of struggle to go through the hole and make this design. But you can do it. It's not that much hard. This video is actually kind of serious because I have done this flower themed cushions and uh, another Ottoman uh, in my channel before. So if you watch it, you know what I'm doing here, just the same technique to go through the hole and uh, tie the thread tight until you get the shape of a pumpkin or a flower. Basically, I'm doing the same thing again and again until I finish the design. To close the opening, I'm using a, an invisible ladder stitch method. You can see the instructions on the left hand side. Before closing the seam, I added extra fiber filling. Here I'm sewing on a couple of fabric button with fiber filling to add uh, a decent part. Here I'm cutting short the extra cord and uh, uh, bringing it all into the center part then I'll be hiding it with the button then I glued on the other button to the front side then I cleaned and painted the old legs into golden color and fixed it back and the chair is ready uh, the chair is actually really comfy and my kids absolutely love it they don't even want to go out of it it's really relaxing and comfy 
So that's it for today's video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Until I see you next time, bye bye.